Welcome to part six of the SMPixel V4 slash HPixel Bluetooth app tutorial. In this video, you will learn how to edit and create drag effects. It is extremely important that you have the blade length set correctly based on your blade. If it's set too long, you will not see the tip lighting up. Let me show you. I'll press the drag button. I hear the sound effect, but the tip does not light up. The way that you fix that is you click on the third button on the bottom, parameter setting, and have a look at main blade length. I purposely set it to 132, which is most commonly used for a 36 inch blade, not 32 inches like I'm using right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reduce that number and I'm actually going to do this while the saber is on because it will update it in real time. And I'm just going to keep clicking the plus arrow until the blade is completely lit. Once I start going past where it's no longer making any difference, so example here, 109 to 110, you can see that 110 lights up completely. 111 doesn't make a difference, so I'll put it back to 110. That is the correct pixel amount for this blade. Now, every blade is going to be a little different depending on the manufacturer of it and the length of it. So start off short and increase it until it lights up fully. Now, if I go back and do drag, the tip lights up. Let's have a look at the drag effect that is pre-installed. We'll choose load device light and we choose drag. We have light frame one. I click on light frame one and it shows me the position 90 so it's 90% up the blade or that's where it starts and the length is 10. If you want to make the tip drag larger, I would increase the length. So for instance, I can increase it to 20 and position 80. So it'll start at 80% up the blade and then be 20%, so a total of 100%. And now I'll save that, I'll send it and the drag effect should be twice as big. And sure enough, it is. So you can make your drag big or small, however you like it. The color is set to white, which I prefer for drag effects. But if you wanted to, you can change it. It's up to you. And let's look at brightness blinking. So the brightness blinking, it starts off at 100% and then dims to 80% and it's going to blink every 100 milliseconds. If you want it to blink more rapidly, I could reduce the second value and it's going to get darker and then back up to 100%. And then I can also adjust the frequency, how fast it blinks. If I want it really fast, I can set it to 20 milliseconds. And let's have a look at that. The camera doesn't quite pick up the intensity, uh, but it's blinking very fast. Like the previous video, I like making drag effects that have motion. And let me show you how to create that. We'll use the built-in drag effect as a template. I'm going to set it back to 90% and the length at 10%. And now I'm going to add motion. So I click on the plus button next to light frame one and I choose change position and length in set time. And it's showing me what length, what end position and speed do I want. 
end position, I want it to be negative 100. The length, I want it to be 100. And the speed, I want it to be slow. And I'm also going to set that time to 31 seconds. So this will cause that white light to slowly creep up the blade the longer the drag is active. And you can see that in the preview there. Now it's not quite doing what I want it to do. So I'm going to have to adjust that. That's better. So we'll save that. We'll send it to the Sabre. And let's have a look. I think that looks really cool. Rather than just having it stay one size, it's as if you're going deeper into an object and the blade is getting hotter and hotter and hotter. If you notice, the white doesn't quite reach the tip, so I'm going to adjust that a little bit. We're going to set that to position 95. And now, it's definitely lighting up the tip white. If I don't want brightness blinking, and I'd rather have it, let's just say, a white fire effect, we can do that. We'll get rid of brightness blinking. And then we'll just add fire. We'll choose white for color. And now you get that effect there. And let's send that and have a look at it. Very similar effect to brightness blinking, just with a little more random brightness and flickering. I think that looks really cool. If we wanted to add a little more color blending so that it doesn't appear as if the white and the red are separated so evenly, we click that plus button next to light frame one and we can do blend color. And so now it doesn't appear to be such a huge difference between the drag effect and the hum layer. Let's send that and see how it looks. And that looks very cool as well. There are many different varieties of tip drags that you can make. It's really up to you how you want to do it. You could go something outrageous like candy. You could do rainbow. Most people are going to want to have a blinking white tip or the way I like it where the white gets larger and larger up the blade creating that cool effect. Go ahead and play with this. Adjust speeds, adjust colors, adjust effects. See what you like. That wraps up part six of this Bluetooth app tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. And as always, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comments section. I've been your host, The Frugal Jedi. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.